Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another video, today we're going to be doing a deck profile here for Hercules Carbaterimon. This is a very interesting deck, mainly because of the fact that it is all the way back from starter deck 4 that we got Hercules Carbaterimon, however throughout the time we've been getting a lot more of the newer supports for it, which has made this deck definitely evolve from a very uh, straightforward type of play and just enhancing itself to get to where it is today. It's just so interesting uh, the way it plays out and you could really just alter the deck quite a bit just by adjusting the ratios of your level 6s because of the other variations of Hercules Cub Terrymon. Now that being said, you can clearly see that my main focus here is going to be the one from the start of deck 4. So that's the one I'm going to be using as my main or primary boss monster or boss Digimon. Uh, and the rest will pretty much be all supporting cards towards that uh, particular goal here. Now the advantages with this particular Digimon is that it has piercing. So no matter what, you will be attacking your opponent's Digimon but also dealing damage to them regardless as well. Which is why I kind of centered this whole strategy of building this deck towards forcing your opponent's Digimon to all suspend, ultimately giving you that uh, pathway to attack all of their Digimon whilst in dealing damage to them as well. So before I get started, if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely drop a like, share, comment and subscribe as well. That definitely helps out the channel a lot. But with that being said, let's begin. So starting off with the level 2s, we're going to be playing 3 copies here of our Budmon. This card is just going to be really good if you have any Digiburst effects. Our Hercules Carbaterimon has Digiburst as its main effect anyway. So regardless, it's always going to be getting that additional 1000, which can definitely help because if you're trying to clear over some certain Digimon, then you gotta have the highest DP possible. We're also gonna be playing two copies here of Argomon. This is definitely one of the best starters or best Digi Eggs in the entire game, honestly, because of the fact that you just get a free memory the minute it unsuspends. So there's really no harm to using this particular card whatsoever. And knowing that I can always get that additional memory, it's just a huge deal there. Alright, so on to the level 3s, we're going to start off here with our 4 copies of Betamon. Uh, it's just all different artwork that I have, so it's all the same card, but uh, Betamon is just one of the best green starters out there, allowing you to essentially uh, search out certain cards that you might need, uh, including Tamers as well, so it's definitely a huge help for this particular deck. And I feel like green tends to have that best consistency when it comes to level 3 searches. That being said, this deck is still a Digiburst focused deck, so we are also going to be playing 4 copies of Lalamon. Basically, if this card is trashed for your Digiburst effects, you could essentially just add this card back to your hand again. So you're always going to maintain that card advantage, and straight up the bat, you just play that as a hard cost for 3, and yeah sure you have to wait one turn, but at least you'll have more Digimon out on the board and just uh, keep continuing to hit your opponent for their security. Of course I'm also playing four copies here of our Dokunimon. This card is again another way to search out your cards, in particular this one searches out all of your Digiburst cards. So definitely well worth adding in four copies of them. So moving on to level fours, we're going to be playing here four copies of Sunflowmon. Sunflowmon is a really interesting Digimon. It is going to be a Digiburst 2, which is a little bit more expensive than the others, but one of your opponent's suspended Digimon is unable to suspend on their next turn, so it's definitely a very powerful effect because it could really slow down your opponent, and your opponent has to pretty much go out of the way to re or well, to unsuspend their Digimon, which is not going to be the easiest thing out there unless they had a deck that revolves around unsuspension. But aside from that, Sunflowmon definitely uh, helps out this deck a lot. To build up on the whole synergy of Digibursting in this deck, as well as the whole suspension, we are also going to be playing four copies of Weedmon. 
When this card is trashed due to a digiburst, you gain one memory. So again, we're focusing on maintaining memory. We're also synergizing with the digiburst as well. And that's pretty much what you want out of a deck. You just want cards to synergize with each other and play off each of the uh, particular things that you do. So in this case, if we're digibursting in this deck, we may as well gain something out of it. What I also like about Weedmon is that when you're digivolving into your Weedmon, it only costs one. So it's a really cheap cost as well, making it one of the uh, best level fours within the green color choices for this game. Now onto level fives, we're gonna be starting off here with our four copies of Orochimon. Orochimon is a really interesting card because when you're digivolving, you can give just any of your Digimon uh, piercing, which is a huge deal because sometimes you might not have your Hercules Kabuterimon right out the bat. So in the early game, having the Orochimon right off the bat is already such a huge deal to kind of like start your way into damaging your opponents, which is definitely a fantastic option to go with there. So I'm choosing to play four copies. You could arguably switch it out for something else like maybe Lilymon to allow you to perhaps going to an easier evolution later but that being said it's not a necessity um, and so I'm playing four copies here of our Mega Coveterimon this one has a really nice inherited effect that we want and that is once per turn when this Digimon actually deletes one of your opponent's Digimon in battle you also get to trash the top card of your opponent's security stack so that's pretty brutal because let's say you digivolve your Hercules Kabuterimon over your Mega Kabuterimon, you're inflicting piercing, destroying your opponent's Digimon by battle, and then you're dealing that piercing damage, and you also get to trash an additional card from your opponent's security stack as well. And the reason why I like this particular effect a lot more than say adding a security to your Digimon is that by adding security you are still triggering the security cards when you are attacking your opponents. On the other hand with this you're just forcefully trashing the top card of your opponent's security stack so it doesn't even trigger. This card is significantly better than having the additional security attack. Now of course we're on to the really exciting part the level 6s and starting off I think it's no surprise we're going to be playing 4 copies here of our Hercules Kabuterimon this is our main card, it's amazing. It's Digiburst is also really amazing as well, ensuring you're always going to take advantage of the piercing ability that it has. By Digibursting 2, you can suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Keep in mind, that's not a hard once per turn effect. As long as you can Digiburst, you could essentially keep going forever and forever. I would say you could potentially go up to three, maybe even four, depending on how you play out your cards, but to suspend Four of your opponent's Digimon is definitely fantastic there. Not to say that some of their Digimon won't already be suspended after attacking you, but if they know they're playing against you, normally they do try to hold out a bit longer, and so having that is definitely fantastic to take advantage of that and get rid of their Digimon before they hit their level 6s themselves. But I'm also going to be playing here two copies of Hercules Kabuterimon. This one's actually from BT1, so it's a much older card. Uh, still has piercing as well, which is something I really wanted to take advantage of. It's not as good as our primary Hercules Kabuterimon from Starter Deck 4, mainly because this is only 10,000 DP, so it's much weaker. And so I didn't want to make this my primary card. However, with that being said, at the end of your attack twice per turn, you can unsuspend this Digimon by decreasing your memory by 3. So, with the whole gaining memory with your Argomon, or gaining your memory from your Weedmon, you're essentially trying to build up as much memory as possible, so that you can just technically re-stand your Hercules Kabuterim on here, and go for additional attacks, whilst dealing piercing damage which is absolutely fantastic for this deck and it's more so just that addition on top of your starter deck for Kabuterimon which adds so much more flavor to this particular deck here. However the newer card that has been added on to this deck is going to be 
Hercules Carbaterimon X Antibody. This is from BT11. This is a fantastic card because when you digivolve it onto your Hercules Carbaterimon, either or of these, it will only cost you one instead of uh, digivolving over a level five, which you can still do that, but keep in mind, it does cost four. So bit of a downside there. So ideally you wanna evolve it over the Hercules Carbaterimon already out on the board. That being said, this one here has one additional security attack, so not as great as the piercing because with the additional security attack, you are going to be triggering the security, but that's okay because having additional damage, it just doesn't hurt, you know? But on top of that, when you're digivolving, if this Digimon actually has one of the Hercules Carbaterimon, or if you have something with X antibody, in its Digivolution cards, then you can return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of their deck, which is definitely a very powerful uh, thing to do because you're not going to be triggering off any of the on deletion effects because you're just sending it to the bottom of the deck instead. So overall, you can see that this deck definitely just goes around into a really smooth strategy towards actually taking out your opponent without even giving them the chance to technically hit their level sixes. Of course, that's all theoretical. In practice, it's a little bit harder to perform. And so with that being said, this deck definitely has yet to kind of like show off what it can potentially do, at least with the games that I've been playing so far with this deck. I feel like there's a lot more I think I can do with it, but it just hasn't shown. and. Maybe it's just due to luck, maybe it's a bit due to uh, how I play, but you know, this deck ultimately is still a fantastic fun build and uh, yeah, it's totally worth playing. So moving on to the Tamers now, we're going to be playing two copies of Izzy. Uh, basically when one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, you can suspend this and also gain one memory. Again, just helping out gaining more memory, it's uh, definitely something that is well worth it. Uh, we're also playing two copies here of Yoshino. Uh, this is essentially allowing you to return your Digi Eggs, so gives you a bit of control over what you actually want. But also on top of that, uh, when digivolving one of your Digimon into something with Digiburst, you may suspend this to reduce that cost by one as well, which is definitely very fantastic. Uh, it just adds so much more to this uh, particular deck itself. And I'm also going to be playing here two copies of Izzy and Mimi. Uh, basically, if your opponent has any suspended Digimon in play, you just get to gain two memory, which again, we're focusing on memory gaining it's definitely fantastic here but uh, its secondary effect is also really good as well it's just really long I'm not going to read out the whole thing uh, it's well worth playing in this particular deck as well and the last of our tamers we're playing here is the other Yoshino this one from BT13 this one mainly focuses on you having two of your memory and setting it to three which is definitely going to be really helpful uh, mainly for the fact that if your opponent really knows that your strategy is all about memory, then they're going to do anything they can to try and memory lock you at one or two. That being said, having Yoshino here is definitely going to be a great card to maintain that, though you really only need one of them. And when you're digivolving into your Digimon, unless it's a vegetation plant or fairy, uh, you won't be gaining much memory. So it the secondary effect will kind of come into play once in a while, but uh, it doesn't happen often. All right, so now let's finish things off with the option cards. We're going to be playing one hidden potential discovered. I think that's self-explanatory. Really, there's no need to explain it whatsoever. Every green deck should really be playing it. We're also going to be playing here uh, four copies of our flower cannon. Definitely a fantastic card to further support all of your... Uh, effects of being able to suspend your opponent's Digimon. It synergizes incredibly well with our actual deck itself. But that being said, if it's uh, triggered in the security, you also get to just suspend all of your opponent's Digimon without blocker. So you don't really see too many decks playing blocker anyway, so most likely you're going to be suspending everything. Your opponent's going to have a hard time getting through to you. And I feel like the only weaknesses to that is maybe All Force Vidramon, which allows itself to pretty much restand. But 
it's quite rare to go up against one of those decks nowadays. You don't see it too often. And lastly, we're going to be playing here two copies of Dino Memory Boost. I could have played Green Memory Boost, but I felt like Dino Memory Boost was a bit better given that you're suspending your opponent's Digimon, which is fantastic, but you also get that delay effect as well, which can come in a lot handy later on down the line. But that being said, this is essentially our deck here. It's incredibly fun. I highly suggest you try it out. All you really need to do is just buy the starter decks, get yourself the Hercules Cubiterimon. If not, go online, buy the singles. Some stores, they just uh, sell a bunch of the starter deck cards as singles, you know, and it's not hard to get it. The rest of the decks are pretty much just going to be common, so feel free to go to your locals and dig through their commons. You might find some stuff that you actually could need to build up this deck. And uh, yeah, you're just going to have a really great time here. Obviously, it's not one of the meta-defining decks, but it definitely will give you a fun ride. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this particular deck profile, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all next time.